Digital Scrap Picati's Compact is a great way to create many different craft projects on your computer. I'm going to start here by creating a scrapbook. When you open the program you get a startup wizard. I'm going to choose start with a blank page. Now the first thing to do is to choose what items and graphics you want to use in your scrapbook and everything here is organized into digital kits. Now I'm going to use a fishing kit which is available free from daisytrail.com. When you click on a kit you can see that it's organized into embellishments, backgrounds, photo frames and materials. You can go through and select which items you want to use. Alternatively I'm just going to add the whole kit here. Once you've added your kit as you can see all of your items are now organized in this easy to use content manager down the left hand side and here we have our embellishments, backgrounds, frames etc. Now I'm going to start by adding a background and I think I'll choose this one and the next thing I want to do is to add a photo onto my page so I'm going to start by adding on a photo frame now all items in Scrapbook Artist you can resize by using these handles around the outside and you can also rotate them using the handle at the top. Once I've positioned my photo frame I'm now going to choose what photo I want to put in it and if I go to the Photos tab, click Add, I can then scan my hard drive for any images that I want and I'm going to choose this one. Now to add this photo to the frame all I need to do is drag it and drop it in. And as you can see that photo has automatically snapped to fit and has been rotated so it's perfectly in line with the frame. Now we can start adding some embellishments to our page by clicking on the embellishments tab. Again I can just drag and drop embellishments on. It's very easy to reorder objects, I can use the Arrange tab to send this item to the back. Adding text is very easy, I can select my text tool, click where I want to start my text and then just type on my keyboard. You can change font from the drop down list and I can also reposition and rotate text in exactly the same way that I did with my embellishments. It's also very easy to add depth to my scrapbook. On my effects tab I have some different shadow options I can use and I can simply apply those by clicking on the item I want my shadow and then choosing the type of shadow that I want and I can apply this to all types of objects in Scrapbook Artist. Scrapbook Artist Compact also comes with a good selection of brushes you can use and these range from things like airbrushes, charcoal paint etc. You can paint these freehand using the brush tool but you can also use brushes as the edge to any object. I'm going to zoom into the bottom right hand side and I'm going to add a stitch brush around the outside of this object here. So I select the object, choose my stitch brush, I can adjust the thickness of the line and if I want I can even change the colour of that stitch. Once you've finished designing your scrapbook it's very easy to print it on any paper size that you want. You can also send it on email and finally with the Daisy Trail upload button with a single click you can upload your scrapbook online for your friends and family to view.